Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And yes, it is. <laughs> it's a dirty camera. It's another sparkling day in Central Oregon. Uh, wow, nice puffy clouds, kind of pretty. And I've got pigs over there waiting for me. So uh, usually we go check out the plants and everything else, but we're going to be nice today and go right to the piggies and fe feed them. Um, and see what kind of trouble they've gotten into. Because I have drama pigs. Alright, so today uh, the two dogs get to go into the vet today and get their uh, nails trimmed. And uh, Cinder also, uh, uh, ever since she was a puppy, had to take Pro in. So it's time to replenish that. <laughs> And uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what Belle's chasing, but she feels good about it. Well, it's been a couple of days since you guys had a chance to say hello to the piggies, and uh, let's 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 say hello. And here they are. Hi, guys. We've got Zelda. We've got Sparky! Hey Sparky! Hey Sparky! How are you? And we'll work our way over to uh, shut off the power to the fence. Mr. Cow! Hello Mr. Cow! Hello! And Zelda, how are you? Oh no! Piggy piggy piggies! It's a good day! It's a happy day for piggies! Yes sir! It's sunny! Nice sunny day. Sunny day. Good day to play in the mud. Go find her bowls. Of course, one of them's in the mud. And uh, get them all fed up. Well, fed. Well, we got the piggies all fed. They're happy. What do you think? The good stuff. Oh, you. Don't eat my camera. All right. Here's the two females. And, uh, yeah, they're starting to get pretty good size. Anyway, we, uh, maybe might get them into a new paddock this week. Uh, this weekend, maybe we'll even build a new house. We'll see. Never enough time, but when the Sherry's here at the house with me, I can get things done a little faster. That's kind of nice. But, boy, what a pretty day. Party, party day. Yes, sir, Bob. All right, let's move on. Check on the chickens. Check on the plants. And then uh, at 2 o'clock, I think I gotta take our puppies to get their nails trimmed so it can be beautiful. <laughs> They're beautiful anyway. Well, chickens are looking good. Hi, girls. How are you? Come here. I got pretty friendly chickens. They got water and food. They're all good. Now, don't forget, next week, we get new baby chickens, and there'll be uh, 13, I think, uh, new hens and two roosters. So, when the roosters, the baby rooster won't be introduced to this flock till, oh, till he gets bigger. Uh, plus, I, uh, I ordered mine vaccinated. I've had them uh, treated. And they'll be separated from these chickens just in case of any bird flu problems. Anyway, so we took every precaution possible before we brought more chickens on here. So, uh, so yeah, more more chickens. That's just what we need, huh? But now we'll get to utilize our chicken shaw. So, they'll their job, the new chickens, is to go through the grasses, which we got a lot of, and behind our pigs, and. Uh, do their job to uh, introduce more fertilizer and uh, eat bugs and do what chickens do. Well, I'm in the greenhouse. It's uh, 88 degrees in here. Uh, I 
Aha. Maybe that. That uh. Waiting to see if we get any peas. And uh. Uh, it's still be, you know, it's still getting past the cold, but boy, look at uh, le lettuce is starting to really go like crazy here. Uh, we'll be uh, munching on them pretty soon. Uh, the spinach is doing well on the uh, floating rafts, and uh, <laughs> I really don't know. I'm pretty sure this tomato is not going to make it, but let's take a peek. Yeah, he's looking kind of sad, but he's still kind of hanging in there, so we'll see. So our list of projects is pretty big this weekend. I have no idea what we'll be working on. We got the pipe to fix. We've got to uh, continue working on the big field with a new above ground, <laughs> where the new above ground planters are. Uh, I got to build a, a uh, hog house. Uh, we got to move the critters uh, to a new paddock. I really need to split the chick uh, the pigs up pretty soon, get the boys and the girls separated for the females going to heat. And uh, yeah, oh, we didn't uh, check on the NFT hydroponics. Uh, they're getting a rough start, but they're doing all right. It's all spinach and I got one, one uh, lettuce on here. We'll see, uh, usually, uh, the same thing happened last year is when you first put them in here, some of their outer leaves kind of freak out. Then they kind of get used to the temperature, I guess. And then they uh, <clears throat> start uh, exploding. This lettuce, they'll get discolored on the outside. Then they'll, they'll explode. <clears throat> A new center section will start growing. They'll have this beautiful lettuce. So yeah, uh, the spinach is pretty, pretty hardy. It likes this cold, I mean, it's hang, hang, hanging in there really well with the cold weather. So, quite amazing. I guess another thing that's coming up here is, uh, I know, sunshine, huh? Uh, is we're going to start firing up the towers. And uh, they'll be loaded up with strawberries. The tank in the back will be full of nutrients. I have a new timer. The timer will let nutrients to the uh, plants uh, once a day for about five minutes and that's it and uh, there's no dirt in these towers this is all uh, coconut core and perlite so yeah we just got to get the old plants out of here and uh, like I said I was trying to give them a chance to see if they made it through the year but I think the fact is is uh, uh these plants couldn't handle the cold. Uh, there's just not enough insulation. So that's okay. We got it handled. But uh, yeah, we do have to do some more work in these towers, get them cleaned out, get them planted, turn on the water system, and we're off and running. And it won't be too long that we'll turn on our main water system for the whole yard, but we got to fix the pipe. We got to fix a couple of spigots. Uh, that, that water this uh, yard every year we have some go bad and uh, uh, all the water systems for the front field will be modified to uh, water um, our plants automatically up there so yeah lots of work to do and I'm in the growing room we still got um, Bunch of uh, these are jet stars. A couple uh, new types of lettuces. I'm not even sure what they were. I was just trying some new lettuces. I'm gonna move some of those to the propagator over here because I almost got the propagator empty. Uh, and this whole rack's getting pretty full. I got one opening, and uh, my taller plants can go up above. But yeah, this thing is stuffed. But uh. Got spinach here. These are all strawberries. This is tomato. More tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes. More strawberries. All strawberries. A couple of mixed plants over there. So yeah, 
we got a full house here. All right, guys, it's kind of ridiculous right now, but my two puppies all excited to go, and they have no idea that they're going to the vet, but they're just getting their toes, uh, nails trimmed. And uh, if you noticed, we put, um, uh, I don't know what the right name is for these collars. They're pinch collars, they call them a lot, but um, we only use them when the dogs have to be on leash. Uh, Cinder, even when we had her in training, uh, our coach said she needs a pinch collar. She's always gonna be a tugger. So uh, yes, you'll see that they have pinch collars, but it's only because they're gonna be on leash and it keeps them under control. I don't care what you say, a big dog that's not under control is not a good dog. So, and that means you're also not a very good dog owner. So, uh, yeah, if you're gonna have a dog, they should be under control and they should be trained. And if they're not trained very well, you have the right equipment to make sure that they behave. So, uh, they're ready, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. <laughs> and let's get them loaded. There's dog number one. You need a running start. <laughs> Good job, Cinder. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's get him to the vet. All right, we're in the truck. Puppies are loaded. The highlight of their day is getting treats. So, uh, so we're Cinder <laughs> and then Belle. And then we'll get windows open for them. And uh, off we go. All right, guys. My two puppies survived their uh, <laughs> glamour setting here for their toenails um so yeah we were at turbine um veterinarian clinic clinic uh they've done a really good job for our our pets and uh they didn't get mad at me that i forgot to come yesterday <laughs> anyway guys so uh they're happy <laughs> um we'll probably what what you want a treat <laughs> anyway uh uh we're gonna get espresso at the uh turbine coffee wagon and uh these guys are trying to get a treat but they'll get one at the uh espresso stand so yeah i'm gonna take them home and uh go from there well we're back and our dogs survived their ordeal and uh they're all pretty again and it's kind of funny we just had gray skies we just had rain and now the sun's back can't make up his mind what kind of weather we're gonna have but yep anyway happy dogs they get to go to the uh, turban coffee wagon and uh, get lots of treats they're always spoiled they're so bad so anyway guys let's move on well it's a little later in the day and i'm in the green room um where all, the, all of our plants are and stuff and i wanted to take the, a moment to talk to people who are thinking about homesteading or getting a little more property or or at the property they already have to start doing some of the things we're doing like hydroponics or above ground gardens or whatever and my point i want to point out is do you have to be experienced do you have to be from a farm or come from parents that taught you how to raise chickens or anything like that and the answer is absolutely no and especially now um Maybe 10 or 15 years ago, I would have said, well, no, but now I don't because you have a complete source of information from all kinds of YouTube channels, all kinds of websites, all kinds, there's just tons of resources, books, all kinds of really good books. And, and you can teach yourself quite quickly. You'll make a few mistakes. Who cares? But uh, if you're interested in doing hydroponics, there's great websites and, and YouTube channels out there and stuff. Um, if you're interested in uh, uh, what you can grow in your area, if it's Arizona or if it's North Carolina or Washington State, 
um, California, wherever you're at in the middle of the country, um, you can grow something. And so, but the research is so easy and there's so many very kind, very kind people that will share information with you and some of them have written their own books and stuff. So don't be afraid to try. Um, I would say the person that would be a fool or dumb would be ones that don't try. Um, you just dive in, do what you can, do your best, and you'll get better and better and better at it. So that's just my <laughs> two cents worth. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I want to thank you very much for watching. Puppies have pretty toenails now. Uh, everything's good. Uh, we did lose our sunshine today, so it's not a... Sh <laughs> It's not a sparkling day anymore, but it's not bad. And supposedly, we got really nice weather coming tomorrow. So, anyway, guys, thank you much, so much for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And if you have a pet, a dog, uh, try our Ranger Rob poopy bags. We would appreciate it. Um, they're at Amazon. They're very affordable, and you'll find once you start using those, you'll never go back to anything else. So, guys. Have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.